Some, some reason for really kids, bro. they like to be in small spots. Like they like, I mean, I guess when you, used to, you, you ever did the thing when you was a kid, you put the tents, you put the sheet sure. tents. So you just wanted some little tight area. I don't know what it is. It's like kid. hiding. Yeah. It's like my own little I'm space. Nobody can't see me. I'm glad you said that. Because, you know what I mean, we spending a lot of time at night. You know what I mean? It's getting cold. You know what I mean? And usually when it gets cold, people start going more inward. And then right. you start realizing that some people, they go inward, but they have no body, no safe zone, no crush. They start realizing that it's just me or that I'm giving too much. It's a reflectional time. Probably don't like me because I'm such a brick wall. Because they can't be that as strong as I can be. I don't, I'm not, it's not a front. It's not a situation where I'm doing it on purpose. I'm not even conscious of what I am. This is just me. I'm just a solid individual. That's just what it is. I don't get moved very easy. You could, a wall could blow up right now. I'm going to be shit. Like, what are we going to do? I'm going to get everybody out. I'm chill. Like, it's, nothing moves me that easy. But that. I know. But you know what I mean? But, but people are, sometimes people are. Welcome back to another episode of Dad and Ish. Happy holidays. I go by the name of Chocolate Dad. It's your boy Saya, aka Saya. It's your boy Styles. It's your man Nine Five. Welcome, welcome, as uh, Steve said, to mm-hmm. another episode of Dad and Ish. Um, again, happy holidays to everybody out there. We hope everybody's staying safe, uh, enjoying themselves, getting with their family and friends and loved ones. Hopefully, you ain't going into debt too much off of these kids because they want everything Jeez, under the sun. They do. It's yeah. crazy. But yeah, have, um, yeah, Merry Christmas to everybody. Um, on another happy note. Happy Kwanzaa. Happy Hanukkah. <laughs> Hanukkah passed, bro. It did? I don't know what it is. <laughs> you know what? You don't know what it is. <laughs> you, know, sorry, you know how I always know it's Hanukkah? When Alton decided it's gone for like a week straight. Like, yeah. Yes. I, I live well, in Long Island. I don't got exactly to worry about that. <laughs> but um, on, on another happy note as well, Happy birthday to my man, yeah, Styles, man. Styles. Oh, oh, birthday here, to you, man. brother. Appreciate it. fucking birthday yet? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 like, man, I hate for some reason this season. I don't know what it is. Yeah, what happened? Did you say something last season? I heard your feelings. Mm. Yeah, you probably did. I know. I think yeah, that yeah, last yeah, episode, yeah, I was getting on him a little bit. You know what I mean? Happy birthday to you, man. Appreciate Hope it. Hope you enjoy it. Have a good ass time. Um, you know, don't don't do nothing too reckless out in these streets. I ain't reckless. I don't do reckless. Do something straight. Do a piece of change. Yeah, you should. I'm, I highly recommend it. <laughs> <laughs> sure. One time, for one time. Make sure yeah. you got some uh, antibiotics. <laughs> <laughs> if you need them, Steve got them on deck. Nah, I just be going to be chilling, man. I don't really do much for my birthday because, you know, holidays, it's, it's Christmas, so yeah. I can't pull people out their house to be spending time. Yeah, the fuck man. you that's can. Kids day. Yeah, I mean, it's a kid's, kid's day. day, so it's kind of like... I just let you can, though, because think about like, you know, you do Christmas in the daytime. By the evening time, your kids is either dead asleep or they in a corner playing with the boxes of the toys that came yeah. in and all that other shit. You know, you can sneak up. We're going to turn up. We're going to find something to do. Yeah, we figure we something out. I usually don't do. even stress it. Um, as a kid, it was great, but now as an adult, it's kind of like as whatever. As a kid, it was great. You got one yeah. dick, bro. Nah, my mom, I ain't lie. My mom's always took care of me. Like, she she definitely went out. She, no, she you know, she, you get the... <laughs> you get the the Christmas, so you get the birthday. She would bake a cake. She do whatever. You know, she made the best of it. But then, you know, you get older. You know, it's kind of trash because on your birthday, you got you to give gifts too. Like, I, you ain't got that time right. to just focus on you in that period of time. So you just worried about everybody else. So My, my birthday is December 7th, and I almost didn't get Christmas gifts every year because my birthday just passed. That was the same thing. My mom, she was like, oh, I was her Christmas gift. I said, no, it wasn't. That was three weeks. <laughs> three weeks. <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you not tripping, bro? It's two Listen. different holidays. Yeah. Abso- absolutely. Nah, don't, don't call me that. My mom used to bake a cake for Jesus on Christmas. <laughs> So I, I I couldn't imagine if like if I was born on Christmas, my mom yes. definitely would have given me like one gift. Your mom was baking that cake for me. She just said no. So yeah, I was, I was happy birthday, man. kid. Mom, she gonna be on your, we're gonna be on your side of town. We celebrating that, my sister. Yeah, for sure. Um, but yeah, okay, everybody, you know, enjoy, stay safe. Uh, obviously, we got a dope guest in the building, recurring guest, recurring. family now, man. She be pulling up on us. Definitely, you know what I'm saying. Family. It's a fat karaoke queen in the building. <laughs> <laughs> we got the one, the only, Miss Georgie. How y'all doing? We cool, man. We chilling, man. Happy cool. birthday. Thank you. Is you want my gift? Hmm? What's your birthday? <laughs> it's yeah, what's up, she's still? All right, no problem. See, you will get turned up. No problem. All right. Oh, man. Yeah, man. Uh, you know, listen, you guys got anything crazy going on for the holidays, for Christmas, or just keeping it chill regular? My yeah. kids are crazy enough. That's they driving bad. me crazy with these expensive things. My six-year-old wants a PS5, an Xbox, and a VR system. All at once? The younger ones always want the most, all of this from. the most yeah, expensive like, stuff. I don't get it. He's not getting any of them. 
Let's I hope you don't see this episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're, not getting any of them. you're struggling over here. It's okay. It's all good, man. You make yeah. it work. My oldest, he's expensive, but you he know, just be one thing. Probably. Yeah, he just yeah. want one thing. He that's just want a PS5, but I don't know how that's gonna work either because I'm not going out my way to pay. A thousand dollars for a three hundred dollar yeah. console. So we're gonna figure it out though. They don't live together? Who? Your son. Yes. Exactly <laughs> my point. I was say you don't have to go on the living room. No, TV. exactly. Listen, my point. One thing he has a PS4. That one gives us that. We have two controllers. We have one controller to pass that on. That's why I said he's get he's not getting another. Well, you know of how that. we got our second controller? Well, we took the games that we already beat. Go to old school shit, dating ourselves. Go to Toys R Us, right? Trade it in for the Toys R Us bucks, <laughs> and they got enough to get another Toys controller to go play the other shit. Yeah, I remember that. that. Yep. Yeah, my kids, they're 11 years apart, so my oldest, he works, so whatever little things he needs, he gonna go buy it himself, and then they just magically appear in the house. As long as he ain't selling drugs, we good, though. <laughs> That's so. what's up. Damn. I mean, so, but he could be in school like Tariq and be selling drugs. I mean, no. he, <laughs> he, he knows how I am. And he knows how everybody around him is. So I don't even think he wants that type of smoke. Because he got an answer to me. Then he got an answer to his father. Then he got an answer to his grandfather. Then he got an answer to uncles and aunts and grandparents. Like, he he don't want And then he got an answer to me. Right. <laughs> 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 Heard you. <laughs> nah, I mean, I'm, I'm fortunate. Like, my, my daughter, she doesn't... Like, the thing that she asked for... Like, in my mind, I anticipate, like, yo, she's going to be asking for something crazy OD or whatever. But her list was, like, her list really, year to year, is always calm or whatever. So, like, she just asked for, like, she's like, yeah, a couple of sneakers. Mm-hmm. Um, she does need a new laptop. I'm going to get her that. Um, by the time this, this comes out, she, she, she already got it. So <laughs> yeah. Right? Um, but she don't, she, don't, she don't do OD shit, though. But she just takes forever to find, like, she'll tell you, like, the week of Christmas. Mm-hmm. Okay, this is what I want. I'm like, sis. It's a clip. It's not happening. My son is so, planning. He's always yeah, been that way. Wait. My oldest, he's planning the day on Christmas, actually, for next Christmas. Like, so next year, can you buy me this? Like, can we get through this day first? Like, yes. that's him. He wants to make sure that whatever he asked for, it's locked, um, it's no locked in. There's no that. reason why I ain't got but, this. But he cut himself short because he got a whole nother nine, ten and months to figure out. Who wants to buy the shit that comes up? Because mm-hmm. so, you know what I mean? My so, younger one, he, he be on some, like, like it'd be like summertime after the birthday. Like he see what he gets, and he's just like, "All right, I think I think I might want this for Christmas." And as it's getting closer, this is, he starts trying to like sell it to me. He's just like, "This is a good buy. Like I think it's, it, the price is this. Is that I seen it in this store? <laughs> like, prices? Yeah, everything. He's like, oh, it's not he's like, oh, like, oh. Like, the time comes, I was he, he almost look at you. you, you <laughs> had, yeah, more enough time. To he be better than you. He showed up to you his own cool. <laughs> <laughs> like, you get it this weekend, you get ten percent off. That's yeah. my kid too. Lot of you. Look. Pop Pop's gonna buy me this, and then Daddy's gonna buy me this, so you could buy exactly. me this like that. He be trying to plan out. You don't want no double thing. gifts. I'm gonna make sure how <laughs> I'm gonna maneuver mm-hmm. getting everything that I want. How do y'all move with the yeah, with the little ones? Um, it's easy now because yeah. I, I I really just give them whatever hell I feel <laughs> I want to give them. Like you know, but that and, and also in the sense of I'm again things I know he like. Mm-hmm. So right now he into like cars and you know remote controls and, and all that. So. I was just yesterday. I saw this. I ain't gonna buy it. I'm gonna buy it like before Christmas Day because we um. It's sold out, bro. Nah, 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 nah. There's many different ones. It's, it's a hot roll set. It's a hundred piece hot roll set. Shit. Oh, I've been there. Huge. It's like mm-hmm. it's like a, it's like a four or five level parking garage, and it's like I don't know because he got a small one like that already. So I think this. Well, oh, that's the one when you let the cars go to go the yeah, 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 okay. But this one is crazy. Like it's like four levels, like three different like sides. Like it's it's crazy. So, and I, I mean. Really, I, like, I want to play with that shit, really. That's like, <laughs> not dealing with the Legos. Like, or yeah, Legos nah, is the rap, to too. So, I'm going to go get that because we we going to wrap the gifts the day before. So, right now, the tree is naked. Not for mm-hmm. the tree. Purposely. So I mean, me, me, I didn't care. But Steph was like, yo, no, let's do it the day before. He could wake up and, like, have a real come outside, come to the living room, go, where did yeah. the gifts come from, you know? So, we're going to see his reaction if he even care. But I'm sure he's gonna care. So like, but right now he, I, I'm not. I'm, I don't know if he fully understand like Christmas. Like this is what happens. But like he's starting to know the lights and know it's something because mm-hmm. he knows it. So he sees stuff. He want to. Like, that's why I want to put the gifts under the tree yet. Cause he, right, right. He probably gonna one, start one morning, wake it, up. Yeah. It might be half of it might be already open, ripped up. Yeah. You know. So we gonna put it through Christmas Eve, and we gonna wrap. I'm gonna give him the little car set. 
and a little few learning games and like yeah that's like that's it but yeah. i know the car said that's gonna be the, the money the, like, the gift of all gifts right because <laughs> it's more yeah. because it's more for you <laughs> and that's it because he got us we got some gifts and family ready we ain't rapping like he got a little school already he got a little you know stuff mm-hmm. but like some of that stuff is not for like right now it's like you know like, summertime you know, yeah Got Somebody you. said something. It's like, um, you know, when kids be asking for bikes, you know, it's December. When are you gonna get to ride your bike? So you gotta wait the whole damn winter nah, to the summertime nah, come. Nah, when I was a kid, security, 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 gotta make sure you get that. I know, but it's still, you, you, you got the bike is sitting so, there. Like, I nah, can't. Nah, nah, what we used to do, so like, I in asked too nah, myself nah, though. Nah. We used to, like, my pops used to let us ride it up and down in the hallway. I used to get a little bit of action. You, you know, you get a little two miles an hour before the <laughs> neighbor's door, but it's a little something. Uh-huh. You know what I'm That's saying? Project, so we was outside with it regardless. You gotta be outside, yeah. yeah. Busting it up. We, 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 Project Sliding 82, so I understand. Yeah, we saw from the building, and we saw gravitation to the park, and we started yeah, you saw, you, That's when you know, you know I can even and see you. It's freezing outside. It's <laughs> got your coat on. <laughs> back in the day, my brother would come to the Flatbush and some still a bike. Still a bike from a lot of people's fucking backyards back in the days. Terrible. Yeah. So my son, with him, He's, he 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 know what Christmas is. Oh, you do? Um, yeah. Um, he watched a lot of. Sh- I guess now on YouTube they just pro- every holiday they're like they know the yeah, they yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. they'll promote something because I don't remember around Halloween it was like a lot of Halloween episodes. Everything he watches a Halloween episode. Yep. Now they're doing a lot more Christmas. So so he's like he'll tune. point it out. He'll say he'll say Santa and all that. Did he say what he wants? Nah, he oh, yeah. he don't know what he wants. Yeah. So, so we yeah. Nah, I'm over. I'm over dinosaurs. You're I'm over. To... Like, is he <laughs> yeah. Are you trying to get a more superhero? Um, nah. This year we got him. Like I like I said, we noticed the stuff that he likes to play with. Um, so we got him. Like he'll take his blocks and turn it into like a hammer, and he'll be like hammer, hammer, hammer. Mm. So we got him a, like a, a tool, tool set. set. Oh, nice. Yeah, so we got him a tool set. We wasn't gonna get him the kitchen because <laughs> we went to the. Uh, <laughs> To the doctor's <laughs> office, they had like a kitchen there already, and he was just playing with it. So mm-hmm. we realized that you know that's something he would actually play with. Mm-hmm. We gotta got them both. The tool set, we can't put both in the house, so tool set was you know. It would be a it's good cheaper. idea with the tool set, um, whether the tool set or kitchen, whatever it is. Um, something my sister was doing with her kids, right? So, like as an adult, as the kid, mimic everything that you do. So if she has the kitchen, the kitchen set or whatever. So when she's doing dinner, she's making them like do their own dinner. Or, mm-hmm. or, oh, we're going to do breakfast. Okay, you start making breakfast, and I'm going to make the real breakfast, and we, you know, come together or whatever. So I can't, I can't wait till he gets to that age where he's going to be able to do those sort of things. Mm-hmm. But um, for Christmas, like, I mean, the kids always need clothes. I don't be like, oh, I'm going to buy you clothes for Christmas because he's going to always need the shit. And then if I buy him some OD fly shit, by the time I remember he got to wear it, he's too, too fucking small. So now mm-hmm. I just, what I'm going to do with it or whatever. Um, definitely more like Montessori toys. Things of that sort, because I, I watch him very carefully, like how he gravitates towards things, and like his learning curve is crazy. So like he'll figure some shit out, and once he's figured it out, he's like, I'm done with this yeah, shit. I don't care. He's like, he's like, oh fuck this shit. I don't care. What I always I'm make doing. sure that I get my kids something educational mm-hmm. for yeah. um, for Christmas. But my dad was like that with me and my my siblings. Like he always made sure he gets gives us some type of education or something, mm-hmm. and I make sure that I like do things with them as well. He has a VTech uh, etch a sketch. He got a VTech book. He got a little VTech laptop. They got VTech stock. He <laughs> <laughs> he got a he even got a because my son likes to sing. My little one, so he has a VTech like karaoke Microphone? machine That's dope. or whatever. But you know they teach them how to do certain things. So on top of like the cars and the things, because mm-hmm. my oldest he liked Pixar cars. So every year, well. Forget every year, all year. I would, if I see something, I would have to pick him up like one of the cars from the movie or whatever. Mm-hmm. He had the snuggie, he had the desk, he had the skates, he had the bike, he had everything cars. It was weird, but That's crazy. it I was good. I just got stuff that this he, year. They love cars, the and the little it. one yeah. follows him, so he knows some of the car characters. And I'm like, how do you know that? I know your brother told you that, because there's no way right. you know these cars aren't even in the movie. So mm-hmm. I know your, your brother taught you that. Yep. But yeah, like I make sure that they get things that they enjoy, but something that helps them learn along the way. Right. You know? That's what I'm saying. Like, like, watch, like watching Jacks and like just the things that he does and how he moves and and he's a bull. Like he's like a fullback. He he runs through and breaks through everything and <laughs> just wants to destroy or whatever. So I'm like, yeah, he definitely yeah, he, he definitely like a running back. And so I go watching him and see how he is. And we want to gear towards doing all of that. On top of that, I probably just go go to my job and just get him a bunch of boxes. <laughs> 
Because they, they, they don't, you know, he doesn't rip the wrapping paper yeah. off, he had the toy, and all they want to do is get like in the box. Inside, yeah. Like this morning yeah. before we came here, he has like a toy chest thing, and he takes the cover off, and he trades with his toys. He emptied half of it out, and now he's sitting inside of the toy thing, playing with the toys. I was like, that cannot some, be comfortable, Some of these bro. kids, they like to be in small spots. Like they, like, I mean, I guess when you, you ever did the thing when you was a kid, you put the tents, you put the sheets, so you just wanted some little tight area. I don't know what it is. It's like kid. hiding. Yeah. It's like my so own little I'm space. Glad, Nobody can see me. I'm glad you, I'm glad you said that. Because I do, I, sorry, I was thinking about my, my younger sister, Forgot my nephew, uh, inflatable like like a tent. Type yeah, of it's thing. like yeah. a like a play place. Like, and honestly, not much bigger than this table. I got it's inflatable or whatever. He didn't use it ever. Nah, they it's they, they, they love that. Like the that need to be out. Yeah, <laughs> like, I didn't love that shit. They had the little, you know, like the McDonald's, the little plastic balls that it goes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was in there like when I first got like, it. Why am I here? Like a week. The shit's just sitting in the room right now. We throw his toys in there because he don't go. Take up the space. That's one thing with kids too. They, you buy them a whole bunch of stuff, they play with one thing. Yep. Mm-hmm. I learned that, so I gave them a five toy maximum. I you get know five that toys. That's it. That's the most you get because you only gonna really play with one. Mm-hmm. Everything else yeah, you want just, it because yeah. you see it. You're gonna open it but up. But you only go gonna back. play with one, <clears throat> maybe two toys. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be that one toy that's gonna be your favorite. And everything else just gonna be sitting there and you wind get up to, being you given get away. To it, yeah. anyway. When he when he gets a, like right now, he's he's too young for the Legos for me. But he does Yo. like he has the blocks. Don't do it. He has the blocks. But like that's one of his favorite yeah. things. Like, don't do it. like morning, don't night, do noon. He, he's like, cause he knows it's in, you know it's in that bag. So you pour it all out on his little couch or whatever, and he still he'll sit there watching Coco for the one million six hundred seventy five thousand. No, not Coco. He he doesn't care for Coco Melon. Oh. The movie Coco. Oh, oh. that's his oh, that's son. I you too. Yo, anytime he, if you gotta get his hair done, if he want if he acts enough, he put Coco on. He's calm and just. Luca, at this point, we know, yeah, we, yeah. Luca, Luca, Luca. those two are his favorite, Coco and Luca, Luca and then the Toy Luca's Story. Luca's the one that's of uh, yeah. mermaid. Yeah. That part, yeah, the, fish, the right? monster, the thingy, yeah. They call him a mermaid, <laughs> they call him a little mermaid. <laughs> <I'm saying. laughs> but I mean, you know, he could have been a big little fan, you know, big fish. Yeah, speaking uh, about the Legos, like, like, real right. quick, is uh, it's funny, my son, my young one, he loves Legos. Yep. So recently, he, I mean, he's with me, and, um, there's, he playing with Legos, he did a little piece of the floor. So he's walking, he steps on so he's like, ah, it hurts. I was like, what happened? He's like, I stepped on a Lego. I was like, welcome to my world. Like, yeah, I'm <laughs> stepping on anything all the time. That's, oh, it's a stop. That's why it's Because his thing, like, with the, with the blocks. So he'll sit there, he'll build, like, to the point that he's out of blocks. And mm-hmm. his thing is just like... Push it down. Nah, yeah, he's definitely going to crash it. <laughs> but it's like, to the point, like, he has, like, almost no blocks left. And this thing is just wobbling like a crackhead. <laughs> and then once he realizes, like, everybody's looking, then he'll be like, Nah. <laughs> so Legos is definitely his future because he's very good with like piecing things together. I'm yeah. telling you now, don't come back to me like you know I should have listened to you. The Lego world is a different world. Yeah, a Lego is an expensive world. Very, but, uh, very it's expensive, very expensive. Very expensive. Very when they got two hundred dollar Legos, yeah, so three hundred dollars. He was heavy on Legos, mm-hmm. but then you start like those pieces start getting lost. Plus. So then you know when places. you got a little brother and he takes mm-hmm. all of them and pour them on the floor yep. and then you have to clean them all up mm-hmm. I know. and There's you miss them i know no. i hate the fucking blocks so imagine me getting they're so else. little yeah, they're though small. they're very know, intricate better. things my yeah. my oldest though he used to uh i don't know if y'all know i forgot what it's called it's like motion whatever when they take the legos and they make and them make like movie. move like he used yeah. to make movies on youtube mm-hmm. he used to do it sneakily i ain't know because i used to curse him out about the legos but he used to do that, so he used to want the big, Scene like, yeah, everything. the big scenes and stuff mm-hmm. like that. But I'm telling you, when they start, the Legos is the shit. Even the movies is hilarious because everything is awesome. Yeah, everything <laughs> and the team. Yeah, that's my shit. Um, yeah, but um, I can't. I don't say I can't wait. Like, as, I, I mean, I'd be as a kid, I didn't, I didn't care for Christmas. We mm-hmm. were poor. I don't know. I wasn't getting shit that I wanted. So I'm like, yeah, fuck so, this. But it's like your first. This first, this Jack's like first Christmas. No, Christmas. Well, yeah, exactly. Because the last time he was only he six was months, so yeah, yeah. He, it didn't he really matter. Nah. Like so now yeah, yeah. we can get him stuff. Like I'm happy to be able to provide him with like that kind of Christmas that I know. Like I know my parents gave me a great Christmas based on you know the lives that they Best led. They but now like I can do it like effortlessly, effortlessly. So just you know we have a good time, enjoy. We're gonna go to my sister's, have a good time, enjoy all that kind of good stuff. So I can't, I can't wait. Um, but speak, speaking of being with family and all that kind of stuff, right? So I do know that it's a, it's a thing that I feel like people overlook on a, on a consistent basis. It's like there are people who are naturally like like loners, 
or it might not have like a lot of family or you got that one friend like you know or multiple who don't really have like a lot of like family so they don't really do nothing for the holiday or even fine i'm just gonna stay home and like, order chinese food or whatever i think it's very important and I, and I notice it now as i'm getting older to really be more in tune with that and kind of like you know make sure you check in on them and things of that sort because 100%. it could be it, it, there could be a million and one reasons why you know they might be alone like you know they could just be there that's their temperament and personality it could be that you know they've lost family so the holidays aren't as cheerful for them and things yeah. of that sort so like i know i have some friends and even family members who are like a lot older so their kids are like a- across the world and stuff like that so i do my best with the limited time that i have to like tap in with them see what they're going on for the holidays even if I bring them some stuff like candles or something, you know, just like, hey, yo, I'm thinking about you the holidays, and, you know, you know, if you're alone or whatever. But I'm sure that like that messes with a lot of people's like psyches during the holidays and things of that sort. You know? I, de- I definitely agree. What, what off that? Like, I had, a, I had a friend like he don't do. He's like a loner, a, a loner in a sense, but like he don't do stuff. He don't come out like that, and like just and really, I know him for a couple years now, but like. I used to have a recent, I've been paying more attention to it, like more mindful of it. So like, like what happened? I think last year, last year time I invited him over, but it was regular, just like come and eat, come chill. I don't know if it was a holiday or not. I don't, I don't know, but I don't know. It was like a bunch of us over there. And he was over there, he was chilling, having a good time. He came, you know, came in there, anti I showed you I'm like, we all family. Like, man, you gotta, you know what I'm saying? Like, so he, yeah. you know, he, he loosened up. And at the end of the day, he was like, when you go home, like, yo, bro, I ain't gonna lie, yo. I appreciate this. You can send me the invite. I had it like this. I felt the energy from him was awesome. Like, mm-hmm. it was so genuine. Like, yo, thanks. Like, I needed I needed this. He said, I needed this. I was like, damn, like, I didn't even know. I was invited. I'm like, I'm like oh, shit, I, don't, I, don't, I, I ain't been around social media. Let me come, come through. You know, that's, that's how I did it. So, yo, pull up. You, you, you lit. You like? Right? So, he came through. He was like, yo, I needed this. Good looking. He's like, yo, if you're doing something else, like, yo, let me know. I do it. So, I'm like, damn. I'm like, you know what? In my mind, like he he's looking for that invite because he mm-hmm. whatever he's going through, whatever I don't know if he is, but he's looking for that to come escape, whatever he yeah, can yeah. escape for the moment. You know, I probably can't help fix it, but for that little couple hours, his mental is probably like ah, it's little at yeah. ease. So like after that, I invite him over again, and I start getting the routine of always inviting him. You know, so and I see like it made a difference. Me and him speak more often. You know, they start opening up about some things that's going on. I'm like, oh, damn, I would never know this because you'd be in your own little, you know, mm-hmm. hut mm-hmm. or whatever. You shut down. It's cool, but now I, I understand it more, and I, I realize like he need he needs to be around more people. He needs to be around the love. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know, he got a little drunk. We, you know, so good. Liquor current, started talking. So we 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 were like, oh, hey, oh, hey, hi. You know what I'm saying? So you know, so I I, I highly recommend you check up on like. Yeah. Your friends and family who like may not you because you kind of always spot it because people always disappear around the holidays and stuff like you may not see them like like post instagram you may see them out you may not hear from them as much you mm-hmm. may not you know it's little small things you would see in a person how they act to a certain thing because they not they don't care for it mm-hmm. yeah you know? i mean i can't even front i mean everything you're saying that's me um i mean because you i mean you're a brick wall i am but it's it, I, it's it's funny because when you're not, saying it um wall. Um, at the holidays, I don't really care for it. In, in reality, I can't even explain to you why. It's really, it's really no reason. I guess I just don't. I guess for me, it's, it's, it's a, if it becomes a facade. Like, um, out of the three sixty five days of the year, I'd rather people be like that three sixty four, and I could miss that one. All right, see, see what you you say that right? But I see you. If if somebody wanted to do that to you, you'd probably still be the way you are. I would be. Yeah, so like, and, so and, and, that, but like I said, like, I can't, I can't make kind of sense of it. It is, and I'm not denying it. It's just that uh, I can't say what it is. I don't know. Like around the time when the holidays come around, I, I'd rather be to myself a lot of time. I force myself to do things because I got kids, you know, for the better of them. Now, if you didn't have kids, you want? You I probably wouldn't. wouldn't. Like it wouldn't, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be done, do nothing for me. And I'm, I, I'm not, you know, I guess to say. You know, you guys know me. I could probably have a tendency to be an asshole in a sense. Tendency, tendency, yeah. I could be an asshole. <laughs> I ain't never noticed. But I got. <laughs> but my heart is always in the. I mean, I hate to say my heart is in the right place. My heart is in my chest. But that's my, what it's supposed to be. Yeah, exactly. That's my shit. But you know, <laughs> uh, but I try not to be that way because I, I know it's wrong. But it's just that that's my reality in a sense. Like I rather. When you, when you say the holidays, you would have never done. What are you talking about? <clears throat> like if it's like Thanksgiving, like particularly like Thanksgiving. 
Thanksgiving has never been be much to me. Oh, not, let me not say never. My brother passed away during that time. So uh -huh. that time I always sit with that on my chest. So I don't bother with it. Mm -hmm. So, but then a lot of times I sit in my own with that because nobody talks about it, like in a sense. Like nobody, uh, you know, I never, I, I'll be honest, I never, I never healed from it. I'll be honest with you. That, that shit to this day bothers me. Um, holiday wise, you know, it's my birthday and then it's Christmas. So I don't have a moment of time to be about me. Like you see, I was like, you know, great, you know, it's your birthday. I enjoyed it, but that's your day. I don't have that. Like, I don't get that moment. Yeah. You know what you, I'm saying? Maybe, so maybe you think you should see it's hard to, to it's hard to for you to make your day a priority when like you're looking for the love from the outside. But then so, that's that's where my love is now is in the inside. That's why I stayed in myself. Or what you I'm oh, sorry. Okay. What you can do is change your birthday. I just, you know, so, <laughs> I it's funny that birthday. you said that. I'll be joking around, I'll be Not saying to myself. You can do it change your birthday. <laughs> no, no, but that ass is as funny you say, I'll be saying like shit. I ride my birthday be like July 24th or something, in the middle of the summer or so like that, where nobody's doing shit. But compared to the holiday, because at the same time, too, I'm a selfless person in the sense where it's just like I can't expect like I said my birthday's on Christmas Day. I can't expect people to pull from their family to spend time with me. No, no, you but I really can't. In reality. Yeah, nah, so if, we, if somebody fuck with you, they go do yeah, that's a fact. I, I don't but, if but you have something on Christmas, I'm gonna be there. Yeah, I'll be there. Right, but also do you, you, feel, do you feel <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel it's all good? Do you feel like um that people are you are you do you have like a feeling of like nobody's going to show up for you. That's why you don't yeah. reach out to other it's people. More, because I can point. understand. Yeah, I can understand that. Point. It's like, I don't know if it's a, a childhood trauma or if it's just, just experiences where it's like you show up for people and then they really don't show up for you. Don't so you, that, right? because you don't want to feel, it feels like you're being rejected. So you don't want to feel that anymore. So I'd rather just not ask for anybody, ask anybody. It could be that. Because I, I'm, all right, there's really something called the winter blues and it's something that i had to really sit with because every winter like around right after my birthday i start feeling down and it's nobody who's making me feel thing, yeah. down it's just it's it honestly is just energies of how things are transitioning and stuff in the world or whatever you know we're going into winter time but there's really something called the holiday blues yeah i look it up mm -hmm. but around mm -hmm. this time people start feeling lonelier because the days are shorter because, you know what I mean, we spending a lot of time at night, you know what I mean, it's getting cold, you know what I mean? And usually when it gets cold, people start going more inward. And then right. you start realizing that some people, they go inward, but they have nobody, no safe zone, no crush. They start realizing that it's just me mm -hmm. or that I'm giving too much. It's a reflectional time. Okay. So because of that, we tend to go into these little cocoons and we don't understand why, because there's nothing around us physically that makes us feel that way. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So maybe you should reflect on go backwards and go backwards and go backwards and reflect on like, what is it that I'm feeling? And then when you realize what you're feeling, you go back to what is this feeling? What does it, what does it feel familiar with? Why do I feel this way? And you work backwards so that you can work forward so that you know what's going on. Cause like I said, I didn't really know about the winter blues until I started doing research on certain things. And I'm like, oh shit, that's how I feel. Oh, well, that's what's going on. You start feeling lonelier. You start really paying attention. You start seeing people with their families and stuff like that. And it's like, I don't know how mm -hmm. to reach out because I've reached out so much that, and I didn't get the reciprocation that I don't want to reach out again because I don't want to feel that resistance. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So that's, that might be. I mean, I, I could probably say, I could probably touch, I mean, I guess so. Um, I probably could say that if, if it's on, it's, cause I like, like I said, I'm not a fan of people, and, see, and, and that's the reason why. Because it's the it's the the um, what's the word of just not showing up in mm -hmm. a sense. And I'm not it's, it's mental more so. It's not even physical because I don't be throwing parties and whatever like that. So it's not that. It's just an everyday but concept. Really, what she's saying, I agree. With <clears> but I don't. I agree with her. I think the way you are, like you past that, where you probably won't allow yourself to even do that right now, because that would take a lot from how you've been conditioning. For, Cause like example, you have a habit. You've been doing this habit, like smoking or whatever the habit. You've been doing this habit for so much, so long. It's hard for me to tell you, yo, stop smoking. Stop doing this today. You know what? You've been doing it for 20, whatever years. You know, you're not gonna just stop automatically. So like my advice I say to you, to if you feel like the advice you gave maybe like you should try, is to 
Point set small that. goals and small, small, simple like, hey, I'm gonna work on this little piece first. You accomplish that. I'm working on this because trying to tackle the whole thing mm-hmm. is never gonna work. Ever. So mm-hmm. if you if you take many like micro steps, like one step at a time and doing it, then eventually everything else will like like dominoes. It will just fall right in the play. So I mean, I, you, I, you gotta want to too though. You don't yeah, want yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, you have to want to. But, like, but I, I don't think that you want to yet. I think that's the first mini step. It's not the it's fact of not wanting to. It's, ready to want to do it. it's like that's that's what I said a while ago. I'm be going back. This is that that comfort in the complacency of being in that emotional space is safe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's not that you. I imagine now is it's like yo, wow, I'm back in this world and shit. Like the same thing happens again. I'm I got full control of that in right. in the sense of that. But I also feel on the other side of that, right, is in any ship whether it's friendship, kinship, romantic relationship. Taking a shit. <laughs> shit. I mean, I think, I, think, I, think, I think you take shit by yourself. I mean, unless, you know, whatever. That's, that's your business. Right. But in shit. How did you get that? <laughs> <laughs> that thing is friendship. Just, just. <laughs> what relationship? Yo, you might be really shit in the same group of men. He says shit. He says ship. ship. Like a yeah. sailing ship. Yeah, we, yeah, I spell it with a P at the end, not a T. Like, it's, I get it. Shit. Oh, okay. there we yeah, go. but you said. Stop, man. <laughs> Stop. Anyways, here we go. It's too complex. It's here too we go. Complex. We want him back. Deep, right? deep. So, in, in any ship, <laughs> um, people, ha- people should understand that all relationships, however you describe them, right, is a two way street. Mm-hmm. And if I'm heading toward, like, I'm going down Flatbush and you're coming towards Flatbush, right? If you're double parked, I, I should understand that, like, how to maneuver. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Or if you're driving a certain way, you should be able to maneuver. If you are in, like, if you have good people who are around you and your friends or whatever, even if they don't pick up 100%, they should also be doing, like, I talk about with communication, right? Like, check-ins. And I hate the whole, like, I ain't talked to you all year and on Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, how's the family work? Mm-hmm. Like, I, I hate colloquial shit. Mm-hmm. Like, that's one of my things. I check in on people all the time, religiously. Like, if I, if I see you, what's going on? How you doing? Because I genuinely care. Mm-hmm. So that's the way I feel like it should be in all ships and stuff. So if I see you and I know, like, oh, you said your birthday is Christmas or whatever, I should be cognizant of the fact that, duh, Christmas is for everybody around the world. Boys and girls, Santa's trying to give it to millions and millions of kids, their gifts or whatever. But I should be cognizant of the fact that like, I also know that this person's birthday Yo, what are you doing for your birthday or how are you celebrating or whatever? Be a little bit more mindful of your friends and family. You know that somebody, you know, lost somebody. And now it's about to be Thanksgiving. Things they want to be family and all that kind of stuff. Tap in with that person. Not just, oh, send them a, a bit emoji of, oh, Thanksgiving yourself in a fucking uh, cornucopia or some shit. It's mm-hmm. just like, no, like, how are you actually really doing? I know, like, it's going to be hard right now. And especially over the last two years during COVID where most people have no... Tr- we as a society we've had to be isolated right so you have people who like live alone and now there's they they, they have to work from home and they live at home so there's nowhere to go no people to go see like be conscious of the fact that like, oh you're hitting them up or whatever not just oh have you watched the latest movie like no nah, how you doing what's going on with you all that kind of stuff and i feel like in, like i said again in any ship it's a two-way street you owe that to the other person mm-hmm. don't just hit that person up when you need or want something own that and mm-hmm. also like i said i mean like like Sai was telling you it is more like if you're not ready then that's that's on something else right but also maybe you want to get try to work your way to get to a space where you communicate that with those around you like yo like i ain't really feeling the holidays because you know like yeah that's like because think about it, like like i know mm-hmm. right but how many people know they're around around thanksgiving that like you and your family lost your brother so it's Whole not world now now they do. Yeah, yeah. Now they do. Yeah. But prior to this, but prior to this, right? It's yeah, it, it wouldn't be a thing that people yeah, would be conscious of. So I understand in your mind, you're like, you know, I it's a safe space because I can you can control your own mind and what's going on in your own world. But at the same time, too, you're feeling somewhat jaded against the outer world, but they don't have the information. Can I be a little devil's advocate? Not too much. Sometimes, just saying on his behalf, the world doesn't, or people don't need to be privy to your feelings, right? And my sister taught me that, you know what I mean? And mm-hmm. it stuck with me because some people don't know what to do with that information. Yeah, you get what I'm saying? Exactly. So I feel like it's really understanding your friend, understanding 
the type of person that they are, understanding when they need space. And yes, check in because mm-hmm. I'm a person who I'm the distant friend, right? I might not speak to you every single day, but if you call me, I'm going to pick up that phone. If mm-hmm. you text me, I'm going to respond. If you need help, I'm there. Mm-hmm. But I might not. I have so much going on and with me trying to get myself together that I might not remember to reach out to you. Your birthdays, I feel like are important. I'm always going to reach out. I put mm-hmm. those in my calendar. You get what I'm saying? But when it comes to like those constant check-ins, I'm going to be honest. I feel like that. Right, and and it's nothing towards my friends because the ones who understand me and the ones who I feel safe with know me. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I am a person that also feels like I don't do parties. I don't do anything like that because I feel like nobody's going to show up. I know a thousand million people, but my circle is very, very small mm-hmm. because I feel safe with certain people because the world isn't always, mm-hmm. they won't always cater to your feelings. You right. get what I'm saying? But to you, I don't think it's necessarily a feeling of you not being ready. I feel like it's a feeling of you not feeling safe enough. And I think that that doesn't start with anybody around you, but you. Right. And it's building, and I agree with that. it's building, it's, it's not, it's not about that wall. It's about what's behind that wall and you coming to terms and healing from what's behind that wall and building that confidence where you can be vulnerable and still feel confident in your vulnerability without yeah, feeling unsafe. I don't like being unsafe. vulnerable. Right. I, like, I receive that. Right. Yeah. right. Because it, the thing it is, is rough. Trust me, I'm a woman, but as you know, y'all tell, is, you know, it is that, that, that real is. toughness That's about it. It's hard, mm-hmm. especially when you've been vulnerable and somebody didn't respect that vulnerability. And that's what the issue is. And, that, and that's why I say it's like, like, Chris, you know, me and him talk regular. Mm-hmm. Like, I could be, I would say, I, I don't say I can't be vulnerable with you, but even I know the rumors that I'm not going to do it. Not because you do anything wrong. It's just the fact that the going out of the side, because you know what it is too, is like, I, I feel the, mo- the moment you go to, past that wall of vulnerability, it's almost like somebody's lurking, waiting on that. Because regardless of the fact, you, you, if I get comfortable with him, I'm like, all right, cool. Who's the next person I could do that with? Not saying I'm giving it away, but then there's somebody lurking around like, yo, like, all right, because... Like you guys say, I see how I am. I'm brick wall. But there's gonna be there's somebody waiting for that one of them bricks to get a chip in it right now so they can move in on me. And they, and they waiting on it. And I know that they are, whoever it is, it's not even a particular person. It's somebody waiting because sometimes people I know there's people that probably don't like me because I'm such a brick wall. And cause they can't be that as strong as I could be. Because I don't I'm not it's not a front. It's not a situation where I'm doing it on purpose. So I'm not even conscious of what I am. This is just me. I'm just a solid individual. That's just what it is. I don't get moved very easy. You could, a wall could blow up right now. I'm gonna be shit. Like, what are we gonna do? I'm gonna get everybody out. I'm chill. Like, mm-hmm. nothing moves me that easy. Yeah, but, myself out, but I, I know, but you know what I mean. But, <laughs> but people are sometimes people are really bothered by that because it's it like, is. damn, this, this nigga ain't. I, I seen shit happens. Like, those I, ain't the people that yeah. are but to I, was, I was just about to say those, those, those type and, and I I know those type those of people, the, right? Those the ones who pray. Right. Yeah. And they exactly. pray, and, and they are that way because of their own insecurities and weaknesses because mm-hmm. they're waiting to get a leg up on something. Mm-hmm. Exactly. But, I, but you I, just I don't, don't know who that person right. is. And sometimes. I don't disagree with what you're saying at all. I'm just saying, and, and what you said is, is, is definitely spot on as well. I'm just saying that as the point that the fact that you're having a conversation is just good in and of itself. Mm-hmm. You're conscious of what you are and what you're feeling. And even the people at home who are, like I said, might be feeling, you know, like you said, the, the holiday or winter blues mm-hmm. or whatever the case may be. They're, they're kind of, if you're conscious of, okay, yo, this is what's going on, this is how it happens, if you want to make a change, then you have the opportunity to do it. But if you never even recognized it, then that's why I feel like, if somebody never recognized it, that's why I feel like the people who are supposed to be who's closest to you, it is their duty in the sense that they don't have to fix anybody. Mm-hmm. Nobody's here to fix nobody. But if you recognize it and be like, hey, listen, are you all right? Are you good? You know, check in with certain things. And I'm talking about talking to somebody every single day because God, I cannot talk to everybody every single fucking day. It's, it's clear for that. Like, I don't want to talk to myself every goddamn it's day. It's funny you say <laughs> that because the, the reality is, is that, I mean, a couple of months back, I was saying to myself, like, um, I wasn't, I guess, I'm not an emotional person, but I wasn't in tune with my emotion. So it's the while I'm like, yo, like, I literally see myself, not even that somebody you said to me, I'm like, damn, like, what's up? Like, in reality, I had to do, like you said, reflection. I had to do a check on myself. Like, why am I like, because I'm not walking around mad. You know, everybody be like, oh, you, you why you look mad? I guess I, I got a resting, resting nigga face. I don't know. Like, <laughs> it is what it is. It's just my face, whatever it is. As soon as I heard the resting, I'm like, I, 
Please don't nah, be yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I got the rest of the new faces. And now I'll be up in my ass. I got the rest of the new faces. But I'm not mad, but it's funny enough that I do know I have a certain type of energy that pull people. Because I'd be, the other day I was, at, I was at, on the line trying to go in the store. This lady, we woke I mean, I, I say she was a white older woman. You have no business talking to me. I got a hoodie on. I'm like, mom, business. What? Yeah. So, she, she had no business, had no business talking to me. No like, talking uh, like I'm just, I know. It, it, I look, I look probably uh, uh, aggressive. I know my. You look, I, I look R and yeah, Exactly. So she starts talking to me. Oh, she's telling me her whole life story. You talking about her, her husband got a surgery, the car she just bought, this and that. And I didn't, I didn't embrace nothing. Are you to on her. the line? I'm on the line. She's talking to me. I'm like, why is women say, sharing all this stuff? To why you gotta have your mask on? Huh? Why you gotta have your mask on? I ain't CDC. But <laughs> I'm just like, yo, so I know there's a certain energy about me that's pulling people. So it's not, I don't think of myself as if like, you know, I'm bad, but it's something that I don't want to continue to be in the sense of, I don't like being the brick wall in a sense, but it is my safe space. She's but, to talk. I can see you talking to me. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> so like, but this, is, this, is, this is not a new. Like, I, even, I, even at work, my, my, my old partner used to say, Yo, people just love talking to you. Because I, like, some I don't know what it is. Your aura. But that's, that's probably what it, what it is. is. They don't have nothing to do but with, it. with, with the physical form that. of it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The, so, right people, the right people can see past that. That's mm-hmm. what I'm saying. Like, that's why when people be, some people will be like, oh, you're this way, you're this way. Oh, you're too tough. Oh, you're not, you're not submissive. You're not this. You're mm-hmm. argumentative. And it's like, you never even see me in any type of situation of outside scene, yeah, of you exactly. wanting to argue with me. Mm-hmm. So I have no choice but to debate back. You get yeah. what I'm saying? So, and you can't make, if you never experienced me in a certain uh, environment, then you can't say that. But some people go, oh, I want to know more about her. You get what I'm saying? Or mm-hmm. well, I sense what they see, I sense past mm-hmm. that. So I want to get to talk to her. I want to get to know her. And it's the same thing with you. People probably talk to you because your aura is inviting even though you have an arm right now. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But it still starts with you. You say, you just told everybody in the world that <laughs> you want to, you don't want to be that way. You want to be better. That's the first step. And that's a big ass step because mm-hmm. some people are too... Accountability. Yeah, it's accountability. Some people be too in their pride and their ego that they don't even want to address that they have, they feel like they have an issue. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I just feel like this is my advice. It's just working on those insecurities and those fears, because that's really what it is. It's the insecurity of the vulnerability and just being more confident in the healing process. So that way, when you speak of it, you don't feel scared to speak of it. Like you could talk about this. I own this. This is like I own this. Yes, I've been hurt. My, my brother passed away and I'm, I'm healing through that. Like I'm but it's OK. I could talk about it. I'm this way because of that. But people who love you will be patient with you, like they have been. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's just the bottom line. Fuck that. Throw a party Saturday. We out. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, listen, man. I ain't going to hold you. If anybody do anything on the weekends, listen, I'm all for it. I got the weekends off for the first time in forever, like on the set schedule. Yeah. Nah, <laughs> let me tell you what I'm about to be outside. I call her today. I'm like, yo, you, yo, you at work? Like, nah, I got these niggas. Oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, nah, I'm yeah, good. Cause, cause it's been, it's been, it's been three years where, like, my schedule, like, it's been through five week rotation, up, down, up, down, up, down. So he's on that schedule now. But, like, it's weird, honestly, being at work five days a week because then you're like, it's a long ass fucking week. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, too, like, I know, like, my lady's off on the weekends. Obviously, the kids are off on the weekends from school or whatever. Yeah. So it's definitely giving me, like, a rejuvenation in terms of, like, being around my family and friends where it's like everybody's off on the same day so we can do things at the same time. It's not like, nah, you got to catch me on the third Saturday, but if I ain't too tired, I got home Saturday morning. You know what I'm saying? Well, we so, doing? Exactly. And it, it, it's so, it worked out so clutch where it's through the holidays. Mm-hmm. So everybody's going to, like I said, we're going to get together with my sister for Christmas, right? Um, Becca's birthday is New Year's, so that's obviously that was the same fucking day as Christmas. Mm-hmm. Whoever can't count at home, but nonetheless, <laughs> um, so I know that like, I'm off that weekend. So if she want to do something, we can do whatever. It's not like oh, I gotta be at work. I do any of this stuff. So it's definitely great. And I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm I'm really excited for the holidays with little man, uh, my daughter, the f- family, you guys as well. Um, and as, you know, as we mentioned, you know, you know, echoed in the episode for those who are at home. Um, Check in on, like I said, your friends, your family, your loved and your ones. Strong friends. Your, strong your strong friends. Your strong friends, you need it too. Yeah, your strong friends need gifts too, bro. I ain't got it. I gotta, I gotta buy me some shit. Like, I mean, damn. I'm such an easy gift pleaser. It's ridiculous. And people don't. I, my, li- my list I has like been chipped. Books, good books. Like, not that R&F stuff. 
<laughs> not nigga books. That's what I call them. I like self help books. I like books that's gonna help me in life. Yeah. No. My Christmas list is very light oh, this year. Last time I read a book. <laughs> I, a, I just went to Barnes Noble. Shit, I ain't read a book in high school. I do, I do, I do a lot of books, especially over like the last couple of years. But ninety five percent of my audio books because like I can, I can multitask. I'll be in the house cleaning, doing whatever, and I'm listening to that book. And if like you know, you can just yell at Alexa like pause, and then go and bookmark that one spot. I want to go back to this or whatever. It just, it, for me, it's just added convenience. What's your Ever? Or at this time. Uh I ain't gonna read books. Oh, get back to me. No, 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 no. No, honestly, no, no. No, no, stop. <laughs> Dr. <laughs> Seuss don't count, bro. Relax. No, how you know? I yeah, know you. Know. Truthfully, truthfully, I would say this year the book that I've reread or re-listened to the most is The Subtle Art and Not Giving a Fuck. Oh, okay. Because yeah, I've caught right. myself like going back and I reading the entire book. But certain parts that pertain to what I'm doing in this moment to kind of rehash, like, all right, like, like I feel like this scenario I'm dealing with, whether it's work, family, friends, whatever, like something's in the air. Like I can't, like you said, like, I can't tell what it is. So I might go back to like I know a certain chapter that resonated a little bit more and go back on. You know what I'm saying? Kind of what some people do, like with 48 laws. Mm-hmm. Like it's not a book you just read. That's not what it's for. The you laws know what of I'm human saying? nature is, is amazing. Send that, send that Robert Green. But I do recommend the seven, seven spiritual laws of success by mm. Deepak Chopra. That is a really good book. I do, that was his no, no, book. No, 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 I do have those. I do, I do have Three legs in hand. <laughs> Yo, no. it's so annoying. The seven spiritual laws was, I, did, I think I don't like it. Seven August. spiritual laws of success. Um, Absolutely. Four agreements. I got the whole copy. Four agreements. The, what's the mastery of love? Boom. So what are we going to do, right? I'll just be reading. Those, those, yeah. those, <laughs> listen, listen, listen. So your favorites or the books, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Well, I mean, there's different versions, but that is, very important. Um, send it to us. We'll put in the link. Um, I'm lying. Send it to people. The last book I read was in college. I was grad That's the last book you read? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you probably said that too. <laughs> That's how you stay knowledgeable. That's how you, you, you keep up. And you the last book I read was Who Stole My Cheese? And I had to read it for school. And that was a great book. My, mine is uh, remember, but, uh, No More Mr. Nice Guy. No more Mr. Nice Guy. What's yours? Source magazine. Source <laughs> magazine. Instagram. Wow. Right. Before we wrap it up, you know, Room. Dad and Lesson of the Week. Dad and Lesson of the Week. Don't say communication, Mark. Read the book. Read the book. <laughs> read the book. 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 Are you going to follow your own advice? A lot of people nope. out there. No, I'm not. A lot of people out there don't read books. As it came to my knowledge. So read a book. Grab a book. Everything you need, read a book. Not Everything. even just a book. I don't just read. Like, I read. Not, like right not, now, not, I'm not, reading not The comments. Richest Man in Babylon. Okay. I heard it was a really good book, like as far as like uh, wealth and stuff like that. So I just grabbed it up. I and I bought um, the Intelligent Investor. It's a thick book though. I, I ain't up to it yet, but I bought it. Cool. Bought also, it. work on yourself. Um, in the past, so yeah, I, 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 I didn't really say two. One. Not, now you making up for all the weeks you fucking. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> in the past, I always thought. Um, like in, being insecure only meant about your looks, like how you look, like your physical feature. Yeah, but it's, it's just so much more to just be. You can be insecure about anything. Mm-hmm. So just work on yourself. That's, that's so fun. My lesson I see this no one's perfect. week will be take accountability. Okay. Simple as that. Don't be afraid to take accountability. That's it. Mine will be um, learn how to say no. Learn how to say no. You do not owe a yes to everybody every single time. Learn to say no and say yes to yourself first. That's just yeah. hard. Yeah. It's hard to say no. It is, no. but you, all you got to do isn't. is just say it. It's a complete sentence. No is a complete sentence. Styles? Um, Life is too short to be on some bullshit. Be, and I mean, in every type of way. Um, you know, life's too short. Like, you know, take some time to take care of yourself. Take some time to be, you know, don't be bullshitting your, your health. Don't be bullshitting your wealth. Don't be bullshitting people around you. Because at the end of the day, people be going them all. So it's too short. And Georgie, mom and lesson, my mom of, mom and lesson mom of the week. My mom. My mom Got and you. Of the week. Choose you first. And I say that because 
we're so uh, conditioned to be to do everything for everybody and put other people before us, and then we lack what we need. But I feel like if you're not good, you can't make anybody else be good or you can't nurture other people. So mm -hmm. you have to choose you first. You have to make sure that every aspect of you is good. So I'll say so choose you first. Choose you first. Good shit. So from us here at the Daddinish podcast, uh, we want to wish everybody a very safe, happy, and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, you filthy Merry animals. <laughs> there you go. Oh, well. <laughs> That's the clutch for me, man. One of the best home, home will probably be one of my favorite, if not be favorite, Christmas, Christmas movie. Christmas my favorite either. Christmas well, movie. That one too. My favorite Christmas movie now is this Christmas. Mm. Right? Mm. Yeah. I watch it every year. Uh, I watched it, but I, I I like Chris Brown's song. Like, yeah, that's a good one too. Whatever, 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 the, whatever it is gonna be, make sure you guys go home, watch it with your family, your loved ones, check in on everybody, stay safe, be merry. Um, and you know, keep, give gift receipts because if I don't like that shit, I want to return that shit. I don't want to fucking hassle. You understand? So everybody at home, peace.